Welcome back for Armed Fantasia and Penny Blood's January Kickstarter update. Let's start with Armed Fantasia. The first playable build of the game has been completed, meaning there is a blueprint slash overview of what the game will be, and according to Kaneko-san, this will hopefully help in landing a better publishing deal when a final partner has been selected to publish the game. In addition to this playable build being finished, it was revealed that the battle system will be a bit more dynamic than what has been shown in the Kickstarter trailer. Characters and enemies were all neatly displayed in their own rows. This has been changed to allow battles to become more dynamic with more action. This will result in skills and other battle mechanics working slightly differently from what was originally intended. Though the core aspects of the gameplay should remain the same, I would assume. And the update further states that once a publishing partner has been selected and marketing becomes a bit more focused, we should be getting a nice little preview of some kind. A new dungeon town and white box field for where the prologue will take place have been added at this point too. The user interface is also being worked on, apparently there is a nice stylish and cool design in place at the moment. But things like font size are currently being adjusted. The scenario and number of maps is still giving the developers a headache though. Since the plot isn't 100% finished, the scenario and mapping of the game is in a bit of an uneven state, as things like sub-characters are still being added. Character designs for everyone in the Order of the Sacred Key are finished though, and some anomalies are currently being modeled out. That's about it for Armed Fantasia, some progress being made in some areas and headaches in others, sounds like game development to me. Good luck guys. Now Pennyblood, not a whole lot. Influenza Man Mashita, as he calls himself this month, gave an update on how sick he has been and briefly touched on how Luca's wolf form is still being worked on, important locales for the game's story are being drawn, and how the music is being arranged by Hiroda-san. Hiroda, who is in charge of the music, goes on to mention how he has been doing quite a bit of research into 1920s music, particularly jazz and how it was influenced by ragtime and boogie woogie. And he has been conducting his own research by practicing and playing it himself. He even tried the Charleston, which was a popular dance at the time, likely to get some inspiration for the music and attune himself more with 20th century culture. I like how the man thinks. That's it for the update everyone, not a crazy one, but thank you for joining me anyway for this quick Kickstarter update. Have yourselves a lovely day, and I'll be back soon. Peace.